Hi everybody, in this video we're going to be looking at how to find sheet metal, so where does it spawn in on the map, and then I'm also going to show you how to add more to your custom community server for PC, PlayStation or Xbox. And the sheet metal is really useful in base building, you kind of add it to gates and fences to make them more durable. Um, and if we dive into the file, so if we look into the types.xml, which has the information that the game uses to spawn these things into the game, we can see that the actual thing is called a metal plate. And on Chernerus, there should be about 60 of them spawning in. And they'll spawn in in industrial places. And then if we look at the uh, types.xml from Livonia, we'll see there should be about eight of them, eight, 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 80 of them. <laughs> <laughs> they'll again they'll spawn in in industrial places so if we go over to i survive what you can do in i survive is if you go to the filter option you can go down and you could filter just for industrial stuff so what you do is you get rid of all loot so untick that and then tick industrial and then what we can do is we can then zoom in and these little colored dots if you click on them it will show you the, the sort of things it can be now sometimes um, different things have um, different things in them depending on where they are as well so generally if it's something like a factory or a workshop um, things like that they'll have uh, they could have industrial stuff in them there we go so there could be some near the land pier crane um, that's the cement works as you'd expect there's the big cement works. So you should get the idea, you know, if it looks like a building site or an industrial area or a construction site, something like that, chances are you may find some sheeting there. So that's where you go. And the same goes for Livonia as well. So if we zoom into Livonia, all these little brown things, this is, so there's a shed, there's another shed, there's a cement works. Let's see what else we've got here. There's a big land shed closed. So that's how you how you'd find them. Obviously, you've got to go around and visit them, and then then build up your uh, your inventory of uh, metal sheeting. So how do we add more to our server? Well, it's really really simple. All you need is access to your types.xml file. So if we go over to uh, a server, so if we go to my PlayStation server, for example, if we click on the web interface. Um, hopefully this shouldn't take too long and then we go to the file browser on the left here so if we click on that and then we go into the missions folder on PC you've got to dig down a little bit further for to get into the missions folder but it's PS missions for um, PlayStation servers XB missions for Xbox servers just missions for Daisy missions for PC servers and then you can see Chernerus now you may well see Livonia uh, so, sorry you'll see Enoch here if it's a Livonia server or if you if it's a PC server and you might have different options you just go into the one whatever which one it is and then you want to go into the DB directory or the DB folder and the file we want to edit is the types.xml. Now you can edit this on the fly uh, on, in the web browser, or the best way to do it, if you can, is to download the file, make a copy of it, then open it up into your favorite text editor, do carefully do the edits, validate the file, and then re-upload it afterwards. I'll put a link to uh, XML validator in the uh, description below this video as well. So I've already downloaded it and I've opened it up in my types that are my notepad plus plus and just do a search so you do control F and just look for metal and you'll get metal wire and you'll get metal plate. So what we can do we could just increase the nominal values so we go from say 60 to uh, let's go up to 100 and reduce the uh, increase the minimum to say 80 and that would make more spawn in and we could simply um, save that and then upload it back to the uh, server restart the server it would do um, but there's a few other things we can do as well so what we could do so the quant min quant max this is how many metal plates are in this pile and it's a percentage value so what you could do is you could put this to I don't know 98 and 99 so, so I think it would then always be a 10 pile of metal plates when you when you come to them it would be a stack like that um, the other things we could do as well 
is we could uh, change the places or increase the number of different places that it spawns in at. Um, just bear in mind that when you have a set number of things spawning in, if you then increase the number of possible spawn points, they're then fur spread out a little bit further, aren't they? So if we, for example, copy usage name industrial and then paste it in, um, there's different names for the different areas within Daisy. I'll put a link to this uh, useful page uh, in the description of the video as well. And you can see here, these are all the names of the different places. So maybe one of the things you might want to do, and it depends how immersive you want to stay, but I would suggest maybe something like farm. That would be, so let's copy that, control C. That would be, you'd find metal sheeting around farms, wouldn't you? So then we could go back here and we could carefully paste that over there. So now our metal plates, we've got more of them spawning in. Uh, there's gonna be more of them in the pile um, and they're gonna spawn in industrial areas and farms. So if we go back to I survive, for example, on the filter, let's find the farms. <laughs> Bear with me. If there are, right, here we go. There's, there's farms. So there we go. So we've added a load more potential places for those um, stacks to, uh, to to spawn in. Okay. So what you then do is you would then save that. I'm not going to because I don't want to alter this file. And then you want to go to an XML validator. So for example, uh, xmlvalidation.com. And then we would choose our file to upload. Uh, see where it would be 119 vanilla so there we are types that's what it's going to do we'd upload that hit the validation button no errors are found so that's good so now we could then go back to our server click upload find the file that we've worked on open it up once that's uploaded restart the server and then we will get more sheet metal appearing. That's how easy it is. Okay, so hopefully this video has been useful. If it has been, hit the like button. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.